What's up, everybody? I go by the name of Do Cell. I'm a hip hop artist from Insane Asylum Entertainment. I'm gonna take a moment to talk to you about movies making a difference, and not only how that's affected me, how it's affected so many people. Well, first off, I was at a film festival back in like 2011 with Bandit, Pablo, and my mom. We we're just, you know, went in for a, for the Truth Is music video. And, you know, when all the videos started, my video quality wasn't near as good as all the other ones. And I was like, man, these are some good-ass videos, you know. But, um, so, needless to say, I, I didn't end up winning that film festival. So, I was like, okay, cool, you know. So, we go out to the parking lot. I'm out there smoking a cigarette with Bandit, you know, getting ready to go back to Tucson. And then, uh, start walking off. And all of a sudden, you know, this lady comes up to me. And she's like, excuse me, excuse me, stop, stop, you know. And then... I stop and I see what she wants, you know, and uh, basically she was just telling me she enjoyed my music, you know, and it felt really good because she was like a middle-aged white lady, you know, and I'm, you know, a thugging, recovering drug addict, Mexican, you know, gangster looking guy, and so it felt really good to see that my music is appreciated by not only people like me, but people from all types of genres, styles, ages, you know, and it felt really good. And she asked me if she could use my song in a movie, which ended up being Cathedral Canyon. And I was, of course I told her, yes, that'd be awesome. So we changed the information and, you know, we made it happen. And throughout Cathedral Canyon, I met so many great, not only actors, but producers, uh, filmographers. Like, I've met so many great people that I never thought I would ever meet, you know. And I appreciate them for that. And not only that, but I've also met the victims from Colorado City, which is what Cathedral Canyon was based on. And it just opened my eyes a lot. Like, I got to see what other people go through. Like, I've suffered through things, but, you know, these people have suffered through many other things in a different area. And it felt really good to be part of a movement supporting them and helping them get away from that polygamous community. So... I want to thank Diana Davis for coming up to me that day and, you know, showing me a whole different side of the world that was actually just going on a couple miles, uh, like, you know, a couple hours away from me in my own state. And um, we're working on other projects now. I'm excited. The next movie, Carmelita, I'll be working alongside Emilio Rivera from Sons of Anarchy and <laughs> a lot of great movies that, you know, I grew up watching. So I'm really excited for that. And I just want you guys to go to MoviesMakingTheDifference.com, check it out. If you're not following them on Facebook already, there's a link below. And, you know, just make sure you go check them out. It's a great movement. And, you know, if you want to make your community better, if you want to make your neighborhood better, start with your community, start with your neighborhood. You know, donate to charities. Do something right for once, you know, and like, you know, use your money for great things. And, you know, helping somebody else is the best feeling you could ever get. So that's all I need to say. And thank you, Movies Making a Difference. Thank you, Diana Davis. And let's do this. All right? Deuces. I've been thinking about death, thinking about life, thinking what's left, thinking what's right, thinking about heaven, thinking about hell. Who's going to answer if I only ask myself? Sitting here puzzled and I don't know how to solve it. How come I don't got any dough in my wallet? And if it's I'm stupid, but hell would I use it? Cause I've been through shit that proved that it's useless. Sitting here puzzled and I don't know how to solve it. How come I don't got any clothes in my closet?